Uh, yeah, we're Nashville's only truly green courier service, so uh, we only use bicycles. Uh, no cars are involved, so. Uh, we deliver anything from uh, lunch to magazines to coffee beans. Uh, we work with a lot of local businesses and doing their distribution uh, and even just the normal courier stuff where we're doing legal documents, court filings, and things along those lines. Uh, I love riding bikes and uh, it's kind of my passion uh, and so being able to kind of combine my passion uh, with my job uh, sounded ideal to me so um, you know being able to ride a bike all day every day was uh, was pretty incredible the, the idea of it so um, I went for it and uh, so far it's been great. So we receive a phone call, um, they let us know exactly what they need, uh, and depending on where my rider is, um, whoever's closest, so on and so forth, uh, we get that dispatched out to that rider, they can go pick it up uh, and drop it off. Um, we're definitely a lot faster than most of uh, the other delivery places in town too, for the food especially, um, because first of all, being on bikes, uh, it's incredibly efficient, especially the more dense the city becomes. So um, we're easily able to get in and out. We don't have to worry about finding a parking spot, things like that. Um, and so pretty simple and fast for, for customers. Uh, you know, Nashville is growing incredibly quick, um, but uh, one of the reasons that I started the business was uh, that I had seen how the community kind of works together uh, hand in hand and uh, I love seeing that community connection uh, and keeping that tight knit um, connection between the locals uh, and being able to provide that service for, for those other smaller businesses to where it's affordable to them as well as convenient and so on and so forth. Uh, so we can all kind of work together and grow together. Uh, and that way we can all kind of thrive uh, by just kind of helping hands uh, and, and making it happen. Um, the people we deliver to are, again, all across the board. Um, it's business people during the day, uh, you know, we work well into the night as well, so most of those people wind up being the residential uh, type stuff. Hey. Uh, when a delivery comes in, um, you know, it's normally me who's dispatching, but I know where everybody is kind of thing, and so I can just text it to the right person, say, Here's the pickup, here's the drop off, this is what it is, this is when it needs to be here, so on and so forth. So, um, <laughs> uh, Rush, this is Dave. I'll have somebody there. No problem. Bye. All right. <laughs> so yeah, as you can see, uh, we, we do stay pretty busy, so uh, especially once that lunch hour starts to roll in, um, and then the dinner hour as well, uh, are probably our busiest times. A lot of people think of a bike messenger being this guy that's just a reckless uh, kid that's just plowing through red lights and stuff. Um, and. In Nashville, it's definitely a lot different. Uh, there's a lot of ways around that to where you can really just learn shortcuts. Uh, we can take a lot of different ways that cars can't go, essentially, where you're cutting through alleys, through parking lots, uh, things like that. Uh, and then also the not having to find a parking space is a huge time saver for us. You know, we can roll right up to the front door and lock our bike up and uh, that's that's like a massive time saver for us. So if you hit a road with a bike lane, you've just got a free stretch all the way down. Uh, so it's, it's a lot of things like that that help us as well. Uh, our clients are really surprised a lot of times when we show up. Uh, you know, we show up and they're like, we say, hey, we have this package for you. And they're like, oh, already? You're, you're here already? Like, I wasn't expecting you for a while. Uh, so 
they're sometimes a little confused when we show up so quickly, um, but we definitely get a good response from that. Um, so uh, we try to keep that keep that going, and uh, you know our goal is to be the fastest courier in town. So. One thing is we do love seeing the infrastructure happen um, for, for cyclists and pedestrians, uh, the sidewalks as well, you know, because um, that just uh, invites more people to ride their bike, makes people feel even more safe. Um, so, you know, every year, it's in the springtime, uh, every year I see more and more bikers uh, come out. Uh, and I think that's incredible. Um, you know, it's becoming a true cycling city in a sense. Um, and I think that's uh, an awesome thing. That's another thing that I want to happen with this business, you know, is uh, the more of us that are out there, uh, the more acceptable it becomes. Uh, and the more people are aware of cyclists being on the streets. Um, and, and seeing businessmen, you know, in their three-piece suits, you know, pumping up a hill on a, on a rental bike is awesome with their briefcase thrown in the basket in the front, you know. I love seeing that. So um, it's growing tremendously, um, and I know there's a lot more plans for more infrastructure. So uh, we definitely love seeing that happen, and it also obviously makes our job easier most of the time.